You know, sometimes when you live in China, every now and again, you have what I would call these WTF moments where you're kind of out and about and something happens to you and it's just something that happens kind of randomly and out of the blue and it's just a massive cultural shock that you weren't necessarily prepared for, right? They're usually quite humorous and turn out to be pretty good stories after the fact. You know, so uh, I figured since one of these stories happened to me last night, uh, I would share with you via this sort of format um, a WTF moment. I've come out to the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm somewhere in Pudong, Shanghai. I saw this cool little square thing and I thought, hey, let's shoot there quickly to share the story. So every Monday, my partner Lily and I have our date nights. They're usually uh, fairly low-key. It's an excuse for us to go to restaurants that we really enjoy, maybe watch a movie uh, every now and again, do something special, like go to Disney Town or something like that, get some cheesecake. Uh, but just recently, Lily went to her usual masseuse and uh, got her back cracked, uh, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Massages are okay, but I really prefer to, you know, have people, um, German suplex me. <laughs> and so uh, I decided, great, we'd do that for our date night. We'd go have um, a massage, get our backs cracked, and have some Japanese afterwards. So we finish work and we pack our things, get home, feed the cat, and shoot off to the masseuse. We get there, I change into my cute little masseuse clothes, lay down flat, and uh, the man comes in and he starts rubbing me down. Now, I figured, sure, he's, okay, I guess, because I don't know, I've never been before to a chiropractor, so I guess he, you, gotta, you can't just go straight in, right? He's obviously warming me up or something. Well, this warm up's going on for 20 or so minutes. Uh, so I'm starting to think like, man, does this, did, he, did we tell them wrong? Does he know I'm wanting to get my bones cracked? Is there miscommunication going on? I don't know this much Chinese, right? So I can communicate to him basic things and we can small talk, but anything technical, I go through Lily and eventually it gets the oil out and uh, the massage is going on long enough, 20, 30 minutes, that I'm thinking like, has he forgotten about the bone cracking part? Cause uh, I mean, whatever, it's good. I'm not gonna complain, right? Uh, and eventually he goes to Lily and says, hey, blah, 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 blah. And Lily asks me, Simon, he wants to use the can on your back. And I go, the can? He wants to use the can on my back, okay. So what can a masseuse do with a can? I don't know, maybe they heat the can up and roll it down your back or something. Uh, so I say, sure, Lily. Tell him I trust him, he can do whatever he wants. Really, Simon? You didn't ask him what he's gonna do with the can or what the purpose of the can is or why do I need a can? No. Nope. Ooh, was that a license to kill? Because uh, he walks away and he comes back and I hear a whole bunch of things dangling in a box. I think to myself, that's a lot of cans. And then he puts one on my back and he sucks the air out and I go, oh geez, this ain't a can. That's a cup. Now this happened to me once before actually and I even made the same confusion with the translation where they said cans and I said, sure, cans. Last time they put a couple of cups on my shoulder and they, what they do is they suck all the air out, they create a vacuum and the vacuum pulls your skin up like a bubble. Honestly, you, it looks like you can pop it with a needle and it pulls all the blood to the surface. Now the Chinese, well not even just the Chinese, in fact, it's common practice in China, but it's pretty common around all of the earth. You couldn't really say it's the Chinese things because they're doing it in ancient Persia too. So. It's just the thing that people do in certain places around the world, right? And in China specifically, they believe it can be used to get rid of like the bad juices or whatever. Uh, I don't know the traditional 
medicine explanation for it. But from what I could gather by talking to my masseuse and Lily, they were basically saying I had too much yang, too much cold water in my system, and they needed to get it out so I can return to balance, you know, yang yang. And uh, so these suction cups are trying to get the cold water out of me, basically. That's a real crappy layman explanation based on my poor Chinese, so don't hold me, don't take me to court on that, right? I figured, look, what's one or two cups gonna hurt? Mm, let him just go with it. So he puts two, the second cup on, third cup on, fourth cup on, I'm starting to think, okay, four cups, he's coming to an end. Five cups on, six cups on, seven cups on, I'm like, surely one more. Eight cups on, I'm a dumbass self. I ain't saying anything. I'm not saying telling him to stop or saying, hey, how many cups? I'm just letting him go with it because I'm a fool, right? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, the second time turned out to be 10 times worse. I didn't count, but it ended up being about 20 of these cups, I guess. You can count them, I'll put a picture up. 20 of these cups on my back, sucking my blood up to my skin. Honestly, it feels like what I would imagine it feels like to be hung by hooks in your skin as you dangling from your own body weight. That's how much tension there is. I'm breathing in because when I, when I breathe out, my belly gets too fat and it pulls the skin even tighter, right? And so I'm trying to, you know, I've stiffened up heaps trying to deal with this. It's not that painful, but yeah, it's uncomfortable. And in fact, because I've had it done before, I know it's more painful later on when I'm trying to, you know, lie on my shoulder in bed or something like that, because basically it's just bruising them, yeah? But whatever, you know, I've never done any research into it. I don't know if this stuff's actually effective or not. So I just go on with it. And uh, after, I don't know, about five, 10 minutes of these cups, just sucking all the blood off my back to the surface, uh, he eventually releases them. And I tell you what, when he releases them and the, you know, the skin sinks back into my pain, every cup is just like so much relief as it pops off. And uh, at this point in time, I'm feeling a little bit stiff. And finally, he's like, all right, we'll crack your bones now. So he gets me into the chair and I'm sitting down straight like this and you know, uses his finger to hook me in different parts of my jaw and start pulling in all these directions. And uh, honestly, it's every time he does, like my, my spine just is like all this tension coming out of my neck. Felt great, but I was getting pretty hot. And I was getting even hotter. And I was like, hang on, now I'm a little bit lightheaded. And he was like, it's all right, we're almost done. And then eventually I'm like, nope. Boop. And so uh, as my vision starts to black out, I put my head on the bed to rest because I don't want to fall over into, uh, onto the floor. And I want the guy to know, hey, I'm uncomfortable now. I felt like throwing up. And at that point in time, they flip me onto the bed and they start massaging my scalp and whatnot. And honestly, it's pretty instant relief. I don't know if it was because of the cups or because of the chiropractor or anything, but uh, it was one of those touch and go moments where you're kind of like, am I about to pass out? Ooh. Yeah, I almost wanted to throw up a little bit too. And uh, shame, the poor masseuse. I didn't realize that the, the stress I'd put him under, but when I looked up at him afterwards, he's wiping the sweat from his brow. Cause he's like, oh God damn, what have I done? What have I done to this foreigner? <laughs> poor fella. But uh, no, the neck, the cracking of the back and the neck felt really good at the end of the day. So uh, no harm done. <laughs> And in the end, I've just got these uh, horrible, well, in fact, I didn't really realize just how bad it was until they showed me the photos they took. And that's when I said, because oh, I got to sleep on this back and it's basically just one big bruise now. So when we got home, I got Lily to film a little bit of for you, which you can take a look at. And uh, I'll tell you one day later, oh, it was a pretty uncomfortable sleep last night and I'm pretty, I'm going to be pretty stiff for a while. Uh, so when I get home, I'm like, yo, I want to Google this. I want to find out definitively, does this have any sort of medical benefit? It took all about two, three minutes to, to see a one, Wiki, one Wikipedia page is all it took to find out, no. There are some cases, there are some studies that have investigated and said it does have some health benefits. There are a lot of studies that have investigated it and said it doesn't have any uh, medical benefits. And there are a lot of case reviews, study reviews, saying the ones that are purporting uh, that, purporting, reporting, claiming, I don't know, claiming it does have health benefits, well, those studies were pretty um, uh, unfair and inaccurate studies, so they can be thrown out. And in fact, massage therapy is uh, deemed quackery, which is like the fraudulent practice or ignorant practice of medical treatment that has no benefits. Um, 
and so and even some negative side effects and so basically i've got a bunch of bruises on my back struggling to sleep and quite tense and uncomfortable for no real reason so moral of the story if you're getting a massage in a place where you don't really speak the language properly and they say hey you want the cans say no <laughs> One or two, sure, give it a go, no harm done. But, my lord, don't get 20 shoved on your back. It's, uh, it's a fun story, but not a fun experience. Uh, well, that's my story, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've had cups before, this isn't a uniquely China thing, it turns out. The Persians, back, back in the ancient Greek time, they even used cups and things like that, so uh, it's, it's pretty common. If you've got a similar story, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your story. If you think it has benefits, if you reckon it's worked for you, also throw, throw it up in the comment. I, I'm not going to argue with your experience, you know. Um, your mind does powerful things, I guess. If, if you think it works, it works great. As long as I uh, know how I'm done at the end of the day. Hey, I've got like eight videos I'm working on, believe it or not. Most of them, I've, I've filmed about half of them. I'm editing two of them currently. So the channel's going to be really busy over the next few months. Uh, and I'm probably every now and again going to throw up a story like this too. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and, uh, and I'll share more of them with you at a later date. That's all I got for now team, so uh, I'll see you next time.